So, I'm gonna do a tier list of all the Western shows that I've watched. It's not a lot. Cause uh, I'm not counting stuff like... Like I've watched a lot of reality TV too. Like I've watched all of what? 46 seasons? 46 seasons of Survivor. So that, take, that took up a lot of my time. <laughs> a lot of these are sitcoms. Or... There's some dramas, mainly in the last year or two, because I've watched with my girlfriend, Jordan. Survivor is S tier, if I was counting it. There's, that is an amazing show. There's nothing better. I love Survivor. When that thing, when that shit comes off air, I'm going to be so sad. <laughs> I love it so much. It's the best one. I can't watch like Big Brother, Big Brother shit. Uh, I liked the challenge, but it got really shitty near the end. So the last like two or three seasons I haven't watched because it's kind of terrible. But yeah, Survivor's my shit. Okay, House of Dragon. I really liked House of Dragon. Wait, let's do let's do uh, let's do Game of Thrones first. So okay, Game of Thrones is easy five star. It's an amazing show. It's it will always be. In my top three, if not my number one, forever. It's... I think the last season... Everybody says it's terrible, but I like the last season. I think it's pretty good. It's just when you compare the last season to the previous six... No, it's not as good. But... <laughs> it's really good. Game of Thrones is amazing. Game of Thrones is the easiest S tier of my life. I love Game of Thrones. Last season was not that bad. But the <laughs> the fight scene with the undead was pretty terrible. But other than that, it was pretty good. I like that a lot of things happened. Yeah, that's a good one off the bat. Okay, House of Dragon is A. It's slightly worse. And the only reason it's A is because... <laughs> really good the only thing that i hated about it is that i don't like anyone and i need a character to root for and so the only thing that drops it from s to a is that i hate every character in the show there's nobody to root for but the story is so good and yeah it's just really good it's a continuation of game of thrones but it's uh it's a prequel when there's dragons which is pretty cool i bet you the first seven seasons are all in the 90s and then the last one is going to be like around 50 or 60. Look, season one, 90. Season two, 96. Hey, can, I, can I see more? Oh. Season three, 96. Season four, 97. Season five, 93. Season six, 94. Season seven, 93. So my first prediction is correct. All in the 90s. And then the last one is like gonna be like 50 to 60. That's an S tier. They just rushed the shit. Because we're comparing it to a 10 out of 10 show, the final season is kinda shitty. If we watch the final season just when it was attached to a mediocre show all the way through, we'd be like, ah, oh, that's a pretty good ending, man. But it, because Game of Thrones is an S tier, we compare it. Okay, the 100 has the opposite problem of House of Dragon. It's got really great characters. I love so many of these characters that I get to root for all of them or I hate them so much so when bad things happen to them, it's really fun. But the story around it is so dumb sometimes. It's so dumb. And the writing's not that great. It just has a lot of really great moments. And because I like the character so much, I'm gonna put it in B. But some seasons are so boring. Cause you just, you don't care about the story or any of the big fights going on. But I'll always love Clark, I'll always love Bellamy and all those guys. Queen's Gambit. This is in A tier. Um, I don't know about, a it's below House of Dragon. If it's an F tier, it means I haven't finished it, which means it's not on the list. These are all shows that I've finished. But yeah, Queen's Gambit is an A because I, I, I like chess and it's really interesting story. And it was great all the way through. And it actually had an ending. 
unlike a lot of western shows that just go on forever and don't end like the hundred they just keep going and every season gets worse and worse and worse and worse and worse but queen's gambit actually had a nice ending and Anya taylor joy something like that uh she's great and yeah it's a good show okay the witcher started out hot i loved the witcher season one was probably an a tier and then season two got terrible and I I couldn't stand The Witcher by the end of it. I hated it. Geralt's annoying at the end, Ciri's annoying, Yennefer's annoying, where I used to think that all three of them were great. But I'm gonna drop it in C just because of the sour taste it left with me. New Girl is between A and S. This is a great comedy, great sitcom. Um, I'm gonna put it in S for now. We'll see how many I leave in S, but I may drop it down to A. Actually, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna put it in A and it may go up to S. But all of these characters are so funny. Well, besides CC, CC's kind of whatever. But Jess Schmidt, Nick, Coach, and Winston are all hilarious, and I never got sick of anything that they did. The whole show it was it was great. Okay, Blue Mountain State. <laughs> it's such a dumb show. I don't know why I kept watching this show, but I did, and that has to be worth something. You know, it, it just my gut feeling says it's terrible, it's a D, but I kept wanting to watch it, and it was funny. So I'll put it in C, but it's a stupid show. You need to be in the mood. To watch it it's kind of like a dumb and dumber type thing where you really just have to be in a dumb mood to watch it there's no story you don't really care about the characters it's just the funny shit that they do and yeah that's it's a whatever show 1899 was bad oh my goodness I it was only 12 episodes, so that's why we finished it. This show is so confusing. They do some like time travel shit on a big vessel, a big ship, and there's like time travel shit, and I, you don't understand what's going on for 95% of the show. And then when they reveal it all to you in the last like 20 minutes of the last episode, it's not that big of a reveal and it's just oh we were in a simulation and uh, the payoff not worth it it i got so mad at the end of it that it was like it's like ending a thing of somebody waking up and being like oh it was all a dream oh it was all a simulation and that's where it ended didn't even like continue on past that it was she woke up from the simulation and then show ended i don't know if they're trying gonna do a second season but i won't be watching it okay brooklyn 99 another sitcom really good also has great characters uh everybody's funny brooklyn 99 is gonna be a b for me because it's kind of the same as new girl just uh i think it has not as funny moments. Brooklyn Nine-Nine is more funny moments than New Girl, but New Girl hits the higher highs. And Brooklyn Nine-Nine has some really annoying moments and characters. Like, there's not a single moment that I liked Amy. I thought she was so annoying the whole time. The only good thing about her is that she got with Jake. Gina, fucking Gina. My favorite. Oh, such a good character. They So yeah, it's just some annoying characters. Lots of good moments, but no super highs. New Girl has some really high highs. Hilarious. Okay, Parks and Rec. I think it's on the same level as Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Maybe end of A. Um, but no, it's, it's end of A. I... I, I no, okay, it's top of B. I think it's got, th like, Ron Swanson is 
one of my favorite characters of any sitcom that I've ever watched. It's so, he's so funny. But it has the same thing as Brooklyn Nine-Nine where there's a lot of annoying characters. That I just, I don't want to, I don't want to deal with them. <laughs> I don't want them on the screen. I don't want to listen to them. The only good thing of having those characters on the screen is when something bad happens to them. But usually in sitcoms, not a whole lot of bad things happen to them. And yeah, I think it's just a solid show. It's really good to be. Okay, The Bodyguard. I feel like this one nobody has seen yet. <laughs> Jordan made me watch this because it was one of her favorite shows. Uh, and we watched it together. And it was honestly pretty good. I'd put it in B, probably after The 100, just because I like The 100 sticks out more than The Bodyguard. But The Bodyguard was, I think like a six episode, six episode show. Very quick, very short. It was really good, I liked it. There's not, uh, there's nothing really memorable about it, but I wouldn't say I disliked it. So it's a B. Bob's Burgers A. Above House of Dragon, below New Girl. This is my favorite animated show. As you can see, there's no other animated show here because I just, I can't, watch this type of show family guy simpsons it all it, it i always think that the shows are boring and then it just has great clip moments great jokes great bits but i don't really want to watch the full episode to get to that bit i can just watch them on um tiktok or reels or shorts or whatever which pops up but I actually like Bob's Burgers because I like the characters a lot more. The the Gene is so funny. Linda's so funny. Louise is fucking hilarious. Ah, oh, Bob's Burgers is such a good show. I think I'm not quite finished. I think I'm on like season ten when I'm doing. This is the kind of show that I'll watch. Like if I'm like earlier today, I was building a table and I just threw on Bob's Burgers because I haven't watched all of it yet, so I'm still going through it, or when I'm eating or something like that. Okay, next is The Last of Us. I'm actually super excited for this season two. I think it's a fine show. I don't think it's that great yet, but I think it has the potential to be really good. Actually, I think it, it, it does go in A. Family Feud is S tier. There's no doubt about it. But it hasn't hit me yet. Like. I like the characters. <laughs> I think Pedro Pascal is amazing. I forget the girl's name, but I think she's really good at this role. And yeah, I think it's going to be very good, but it just needs to get there still. Peaky Blinders is an immediate S tier. It's This is what I have to decide is if I like Peaky Blinders better or Game of Thrones. But Peaky Blinders is so good. I was hooked. As soon as we started Peaky Blinders, I loved all the characters. They were... All of them were the charismatic badasses. You know, the, the character that everyone likes. And all of them were that. In different ways. But it's just an amazing show to watch. Watch a family on the rise become... Criminal Masterminds with Tommy Shelby at the lead, and yeah, it's I th it's over Game of Thrones. This is this is my number one so far. Game of Thrones number two, Peaky Blinders S tier. Okay, Black Mirror. I'm just gonna put this in B because I don't really know how to rank this. Uh, probably after the Bodyguard because some episodes are bangers and some are terrible. Can't stand when I get a bad episode of Black Mirror, but then some Black Mirror episodes are super cool and they make you think. And yeah, I I, I really like the idea of Black Mirror, but some episodes are just not good. Not it. Okay, Spartacus. I watched this a long time ago, so this one's gonna be hit by some. What's the opposite of recency bias? Fatigue? No. Old? Don't know. But I remember really enjoying it. I just, it doesn't really stand out to me. 
I'm even gonna put it over the Witcher, but still C tier. Because the Witcher pissed me off, and I don't remember Spartacus pissing me off, so we'll put it there. Community S tier. The best sitcom ever made, in my opinion. Pretty controversial, but I'm sticking by it. I love community this was the first sitcom i've ever watched and i think it, i've watched like i've watched it maybe four or five times maybe six times maybe seven i've watched a lot of community the first four seasons are amazing and then the next two are pretty terrible but i just ignore those because the first four are so good especially the the fucking pilot just watch the pilot and you'll be hooked oh my gosh it's just immediately hilarious it's so funny the first four seasons and then ignore the fifth and sixth just get it out of your brain but yeah some of my favorite characters troy abed chang ah oh, so good so good okay squid game overrated as shit it's a fine show. It's just good. You know? It's... I don't know why it popped off as much as it did. It, it was, like, kind of interesting, but... but it, when they were playing the games, I was never intrigued. Why couldn't they pick, like, fun games? Like, I get that it's supposed to be, like, childhood games, but all the games were so lame. What, what, like, what are we doing? Fucking red light, green light? What the fuck is that? And fucking get get a cookie out. Throw marbles. Squid Game was good. I agree. It's just very overrated. Story was great. Anytime that they weren't playing a game, I was in it. The old man in the Marvel game was that was a great moment. We're all a, a sad a, a great sad moment. <laughs> but. Not to spoil it. I mean, if you haven't watched Squid Game, Squid Game by now, then I can spoil it. But I found out he was a rich asshole, and I was like, what the fuck? I cared for this guy. And then he's the one that set all this shit up. Fucking dumb. Well, good, good show plotline just made me hate him after. But yeah, it's a, it's a good show. It's a, it's a good show. It's just not... I mean, okay, it's, yeah, it's above these. Below Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Because they were so stupid, I didn't feel the stakes. The only one that had the stakes and I thought was interesting was the jumping on the windows. That was really cool. And the glass. That was, that was a, a really tense moment. Okay, the second most overrated show. <laughs> I'm gonna put them right beside each other. The Office. It's good. It's not that funny. It's funny enough, but Brooklyn Nine Nine's better. Parks and Rec's better. New Girls way better. Community's leagues above it. The Office is not that funny. It has some of the highest highs, I think. Some of the times that I've laughed the hardest but also times where I just have to turn the show off because I can't watch it because I'm cringing so hard. I can't watch it at times. I, just, I had to turn it off. It took me so long to get through The Office. I, <laughs> I, I remember skipping like half episodes because it was just so uncomfortable. But I get it. I get the appeal. It's just not for me. It's, it's just a very. It's just a good show. Good show. Yeah, it's above Squid Game stuff. Cause I, I just like these shows. This is my kind of show. The the non laugh track sitcoms. <laughs> Cause I hate the laugh track. Okay, this is us. Surprisingly good. I usually don't like this kind of show. The dramatic. Uh, we'll say slow burn kind of show just like a real life I don't think it's quite a I think it's the, the top of B I really liked a lot of these characters I thought most of the seasons were really interesting um, 
writing was really good, as it kind of has to be, because there's not really an interesting storyline. It's just a family living their life. And yeah, I think it's a really good show. I wouldn't, I would recommend it to anyone. I don't think it's ever gonna be anyone's favorite show. It's very safe, but it's really good. I like it. Okay, so I'm not quite finished Succession. So this is Succession. I think I'm at like done season two, maybe started season three, not sure. In and around there. In and around the end of season two, beginning of season three. And I have one huge problem with Succession. And that's that I hate everyone so much. It's the same as fucking House of Dragon, but to a degree that is wild. I did. Anytime anyone's on the screen, I just, I can't stand any of them. But... A lot of terrible things happen to them, which makes it fun to watch because I hate them. And then a lot of shitty things happen to them. Like anytime Kendall is getting terrorized, I'm just gleefully laughing. It's my favorite thing. So I actually uh, really like this show because of that. Where usually I wouldn't like a show when I don't like any of the characters. And the story behind it is actually really good. It's a really good story. They got fantastic writing. And I'm always intrigued. But I hate everyone. But it's an A-tier show. I'm gonna put it above House of Dragon. Below Bob's Burgers. Cause it's in my, Bob's Burgers is in my heart. I hate everyone here. I love everyone here. Finished it this morning. So it has all of the recency bias. Ted Lasso is fucking amazing. I love it so much. Oh, we, I don't know, I watched it in like a week. What has it been, like a week? And I watched the entire thing. Oh my gosh, this show is so, so good. Every character is so great. It's, it's so funny at moments. And then in between the funny moments where a lot of these shows kind of fail, and they just have like lame moments, slow moments, or they, they try to be real, but they're just not because they're unrealistic characters that are funny all the time. But with Ted Lasso, they're so problematic right off the bat. Every character is, clearly has a bunch of fucking problems right away that there's, they're all so real. So when they're in their shitty moments throughout the show, or sad moments it feels the only way to describe it is it feels real it, it I didn't see Jason Sudeikis in the show I saw Ted Lasso all the other characters they will forever be known as those those actors will forever be known as those characters because of how real they felt it was just so good in the sad moments and that's where it puts it above I think I might put this above community. I think this is my new favorite sitcom. Fave character? Hmm. It's between Jamie and Roy. I think it's gotta be Roy. I loved... When Roy was real, he was real. Like, he was fine. Like, he just felt like the stubborn kind of person that I am. And I just connected with that a little bit more than Jamie and turning from a stubborn person to finally letting people, you know, help him and be, you know, normal with other people. He's here, he's there, he's every fuck away at Roy Kane, Roy Kane. Great show, oh, yeah. I like Jamie too, a lot, but he's, um, I don't really connect with the whole dickhead turned soft kind of thing, but I can see how a lot of people like that as well. And same with Ted, Ted has a lot of great moments real moments you connect with him a lot everybody does i can't recommend ted lasso enough but yeah here's my top four i think i'm gonna make this a top five so i'm gonna put new girl up there with an s because that's what i wanted to do i want a, some feel of right about new girl being an s for me so number one peaky blinders number two game of thrones number three ted lasso 
beating out community number four there was a time where this was number one and i was never gonna move but now it's gonna be there but i'll always love it it'll always be an s and then new girl as the fifth number five in s and then these shows i highly recommend to anyone these shows i think anyone could watch and enjoy it i don't think i'd recommend any of these there's no there's no point <laughs> they're all kind of shit well yeah there we go there's my show tier list thanks for watching